Well, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Thursday. It's Thursday. Because why not happy Thursday? Because it's nearly Friday. It's nearly Friday. And the work day is done, which is awesome. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. You may still be at work when you see this. You may not be, but I hope you are having a great day. How Air Force pilots fly the controversial 90 million A10 Warthog. Now, we've done a lot of videos on Warthog, haven't we? We have. Most recently, we did the documentary, which is, was kind of... It was actually in the battlefield, yeah. wasn't it? And we actually saw just the presence, the power of it, and how the ground, people on the ground respected it and it helped yeah. them out so much, if, that, yeah. if that's the words. Um, controversial, I think it's been touched on a long time ago in some of our videos, that some think they should get rid of it, some think they should keep it. I think that's a controversy. Okay. Let us know in the comments if that's correct. I, I think it was mentioned on our video mm -hmm. a long, long time ago. But it's going to be interesting because how they fly it, so it's going to be a bit of an inside deck, like yeah. look, I think. Yeah. So that's awesome. Smash the like button, we'd really appreciate guys. How many likes have we got on this video? 2,000. 2,000. We, we haven't been close to that recently, but because we're reminding you, Legends, we know you'll smash it. If everyone likes it, we'll easily get there. Smash that subscribe button as well, you yeah, actually, Legends, would really appreciate it. Are you ready? I'm ready. How Air Force pilots fly the controversial 90 million A10 Warhog, what we got? <laughs> This that noise. is the A-10 Thunderbolt I love the face. <laughs> More commonly known as the Warthog. The Air Force uses the A-10 for close air support. Missions that require the plane to fly low to provide cover and assist ground troops in battle. So our whole mission in life and our whole job in life is to take care of the men and women on the ground. It's the only thing we think about, it's the only thing we train to, it's the only thing we talk about, and it's exactly I what will just say, it definitely looks a lot more cool with, with the, the face, face on. Yeah. You know what I mean? It looks a little bit more bland without the face, doesn't it? It, mm. it does a lot for it, I think. Yeah. What this airplane is built to do. But these pilots may be among the last to be trained to fly it. For years, the Air Force has considered retiring the A-10 in favor of the newer F-35 fighter jet. As well. And that yeah. might finally be happening with Congress approving the Air Force's plan to phase out the A-10 over the next five to six years. Oh wow, a couple but months ago. the public ago. debate yeah. over the need for the A-10 continues. And while some A-10s are as much as 50 years old, F-35s cost about 60 million more per aircraft. <laughs> That's a lot, not it? Built solely to support ground troops. There may be a day that I am called to potentially help save someone's life when they're having the worst day of their life. That comes back to my training and making sure that I know what I'm doing in the jet. So how vital is the A-10? Big responsibility. And could the Air Force soon be without one of its most iconic warplanes? By the way, I don't want people to get in debates like proper debates, but let us know in the comments, for or against Warhog. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Just let us know, it would be interesting to see, are you for it? Because I think there's pros and cons for both, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. Um, so let us know in the comments. I don't, we don't want to argue, but it would be interesting just to see people's, yeah. people's thoughts. Yeah. That looks so much better. It does, doesn't it? So the only <laughs> base that A-10 pilots train at is at davis Moffin Air Force Base. Before they fly the A-10, pilots train in the T-38 Talon, during their initial flight training in Texas. Okay. They fly completely different uh, based on their flight performance and characteristics. The T-38 is kind of like a sports car. Oh, it's nice. quick, it's yeah. agile, it's fast. But the A-10 drives more like a Cadillac. It actually be a Ferrari. After graduating from... No, but it's like what you were just saying, man. it's like a supercar. It's either doing the flying test in something which is easier and smoother and faster to use. Yeah. And that's like an old car which potentially is a bit more clunky. Mm. That's weird, isn't it? I, I, I would have thought they'd have gone for the clunky one yeah. first. Or just done them all, maybe. Yeah. Flight training. New pilots move to their assigned posts. Really like the mission of the A-10 and thought it was super cool. I like the idea that it doesn't matter what I'm doing, that I'm strictly there for people on the ground. Fair enough. If you look at it, not the most attractive looking plane, if like you will. It. Uh, it's pretty, pretty ugly face. and doesn't have the swept back wings. It's got, you know, big Hershey bar wings on it for like added stability. So it's it's just a mean looking airplane. And that's ultimately like what a warthog is. What sound does the A-10 make when it fires? You're going to give it a go. 
No. Go on. No, I've given it a go before. No, I have done it before. I'm not doing it. You're not giving no. it a go? No. Let us know. We're streaming tomorrow night, by the way. Friday, 9 Eastern? 9. 9.30 Eastern. No, 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 no. no. That's GMT. 9.30. No, that's pretty standard time. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> UK time, 9.30. EST Eastern, 4.30? 4. 4.30, 4. 4. 4. yes. 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 It's five hours difference. So... And if you get if enough people let us know and James spam us in that stream, Millie will make that noise. James will make the noise. <laughs> you know, like bird, bird, bird. That was the best one. You get that game. Actually, just the it's loud, isn't noise it? of the bullets exiting the barrel. This it's is mad, the Gatling Ranger. Yes. It's a 30 millimeter Gatling gun. It's built by General Electric, and this is the largest Gatling gun ever built and put into an airplane. So it's got uh, it's seven barrels. It shoots at a maximum rate about 3,900 rounds a minute. There's almost no target that the Gatling is minute. not a valid weapon uh, to use against. As we go around, the titanium bathtub is one of the features designed specifically to protect the pilot in the airplane. So this whole panel right here, where you see these giant Phillips head looking fasteners, that whole panel is titanium, so you can. You can hear all these are, are hollow aluminum, and that's rock oh, wow. solid titanium. Right that's there. what you saw. This was one it. of the yeah. first fighter types that incorporated that into the design of the airplane, and it's the only one I know about that has a full bathtub encompassing the pilot. Uh, behind this panel right here, this is our single point refueling system right here. Oh. So pull that cap off uh, and fill the airplane up with fuel. Wow. Uh, we have four fuel tanks for a total of about 11,000 pounds of gas. If I'm topped off, I can fly for about three hours. And then once you add in aerial refueling, uh, we can fly pretty much indefinitely. And then as you're looking towards the back of the airplane, you can see we have a lot of hard points, uh, a lot of weapon stations on the airplane. There's 11 in total. And between those, we can carry up to 16,000 pounds of ordnance on those 11 weapon stations. This is a Mark 82 bomb body, so a 500 pound bomb body, just a, a blast and fragmentation type weapon that you drop it, it's unguided on impact and it detonates. This is a uh, GBU-31, this is a 2,000 pound bomb around. with a GPS guidance kit on the back of it. So it's a, a coordinate seeking weapon, meaning I, I can input a GPS coordinate and that's exactly where that weapon is going to go. That's but how does the A-10 stack up to the F-35 meant to replace it? Supporters I will of the give F-35. It though. The F-35 looks way more modern. It does. It does look way more modern. But if there's a place for walk, there's a place for walk. Give yeah, it some it's love. Get rid of it. Do you know what I mean? Give it some love. I say it has a huge stealth advantage, but detractors say it doesn't have the durability the A-10 does thanks to features like the titanium bathtub. Another concern is how F-35 pilots are trained. Insider reported that according to a 2022 training memo, no F-35 pilots are required to execute close air support training simulations in 2023 or 2024. For A-10 pilots, close air support is at the center of their training. Yeah, that's the main thing, isn't it? starts here in a virtual reality simulator lab. So they're going to start off in the VR lab and that's going to give them the sight pictures and the references on the ground and the references in the aircraft for the first time. Okay. So simulators are extremely important. They're able to practice everything in a safe environment with you know professional instructors before they get out and actually fly them on their own. Mm -hmm. I'd enjoy doing that as well. So yeah, yeah, that's that's like that, control yeah. panels exactly. and starting procedures before moving on to the flight simulator. We're going to open our air-to-air -air refueling door at this point. He was doing aerial refueling. It's a mission that the students actually perform in the aircraft pretty early in their training pipeline. Historically, without this lesson, it's usually taken about 10 to 15 minutes of talking to the students through getting the successful hookup okay. in flight. Whereas now that we're able to have them practice with this lesson, they go out on that first flight having already done it before. That's pretty cool. Yeah. We want to make sure we want to take a look at our airspeed as we're in formation with the tanker. Now the feedback we're getting from instructors is that they're just going right up to the boom and they're getting their hookup on their first try. For the Which VR awesome. sim, yeah. you're getting the muscle memory. Um, so the first time we practice it in the jet, we know physically what we're doing with our hands and uh, we know where our eyes should be, where we should gauge, and then our IPs are helping us fine tune those things. After spending a month in the simulator and learning the basic operations of the aircraft, pilots begin flying training missions in the A-10. <laughs>
Captain Lindsey Mad Johnson has five years of experience flying the A-10. Today, she's training for a new role to be a pilot on an A-10 demo team where she will highlight the capabilities of the Warthog. I am about Sideways. two hours shy of 1,200 hours in the, in the A-10 itself. So they call it like a crawl, yeah. rock, run uh, process. So I did it in the sim multiple times. Then we go out to the airspace for my first time with a floor, not actual floor, but a simulated floor of 5,000 feet AGL. And then I go here, 2,000 feet AGL, 1,000 feet AGL, and then 500 feet AGL until I got through my first certification. 500 feet is not yeah. much. After Johnson completed a few rolls and dives, she moved on to simulating a strafe, which is an attack on enemy ground forces technique used in close air support operations. So when we do close air support, we are egressing, as they say it, from uh, in front of the target area. I'm going out about, you know, two, two and a half miles away at about 500 feet. And then I'm turning back around this way. And as I'm about just outside of a mile, I'll pop to about 30 degrees nose high, which allows me to get high enough to be able to see there is what would be designated as the friendlies and what would be designated as the enemy on the ground. And wow. then as I visually acquire that out over my canopy rail, I'm then rolling in using both ailerons. My throttles are already in max. I'm rolling in and then I'm putting basically my nose position down on what Just we like consider that. to be yeah. like a 20 degree wire. So rather than flying straight and level, I'm 20 degrees nose low towards the ground. I learned about the A-10 growing up. I knew I wanted to do something kind of to pay homage so to, to, to my dad's that. time in service. I was young when September 11th happened. I was nine, and he deployed two months after September 11th happened. Oh, wow. That kind of stuck with me, and I knew I wanted to do something that was going to give back to my country as well. The A-10 debuted in combat in 1977 making it just shy of 50 years old, which is one reason many want it to be retired. But if For it's still years, just the job, the war well, has been the subject of debate between the U.S. Air Force and Congress. Wait, 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 Some wait, 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 Air Force plan to get rid of it in opposition. Is that saying they plan to get rid of it in April 10th? This is 2014, doesn't it? I would that's 2024. I will, like... That's next year. Yeah. I apologise. I read that as 2024. I was I'm like, so confused to why you're pausing. And I was just like, what? It's 2024. Nothing bad happened. Yeah, I read it wrong. <laughs> Between the US Air Force and Congress. Some members of Air Force leadership have suggested retiring the A-10 to focus on developing more modern aircraft, like the $80 million F-35. That's a lot of money, though. Mm. More then why would you want to retire the least expensive, most accurate close air support system? I don't want to retire, Senator, but the Air Force has to get bigger to do all this. But Congress has fought those requests due to the success of the A-10 in recent conflicts with ISIS and the Taliban and the plane's overall cost efficiency. If it does the it's job, it does the job. Exactly. It's very rudimentary with the systems that it has, but why fix something that's not broke? Yeah. It's been in every conflict that the United States has been in since Bosnia, Grenada, Pretty much every contingent that, that the United States has been a part of, the A-10 has been pretty much the leader of all that. Last year, Congress approved an Air Force proposal to retire 21 A-10s, reducing the total fleet to 260. Still quite a lot. Plans yeah. to decommission the remaining planes in the next five to six years. People don't realize how much maintenance actually goes into keeping these aircraft airworthy. You know, it's not like a car, you know? When we wake up in the morning, we jump in the car, start it and drive, right? These have starting issues, they have leaks, they're 40, 50 years old. They all have somewhere between 13,000 to 15,000 flight hours on them. Uh, and that exceeds the actual life expectancy of the airframe by, you know, 5,000, 7,000 hours. A-10 critics doable, may then. use the plane's yeah. maintenance issues to fuel their argument, but the cost of maintaining the F-35 jumped 15% between 2018 and 2020. What, what happens to you when you finish? Uh, once we all finish, we'll go to the different assigned bases, so I'll be going to Korea next. This is fun to fly. It does uh, a job that no one else does, and it's you're like, you're good at that. That is your thing, and that's the A-10's thing. 
after completing the six-month training program at Davis Monthan. Newly certified A-10 pilots will begin their careers as fighter pilots in the U.S. Air Force. The plane was built well before I was alive and knowing just like the generations of people that flew the plane before me were looking at the exact same gauges that I'm looking at. So it's, it's, it's a pretty unique mm -hmm. experience. I knew as like a younger child that I wanted to fly the A-10. My grandpa was in the Army. He has seen the A-10 like when he was in the Army do things and so that was even more just like a further drive to pursue the airplane. Wow, everybody knows us for the gun and its capabilities. A thing that we take most pride in as an A-10 community is protecting the lives of the men and women that are on the ground. Wow, awesome. That was an interesting video. And the thing is, we've watched a lot of videos on the, uh, on the A-10 that I learned something new about the fuel cap. Mm -hmm. We learned some stuff new as well, just the overall maintenance and the stuff The training like. stuff that you have to take. The training as well, which was obviously a massive part of yeah. the video. Some awesome clips of it as well. It was good, wasn't it? It was good. Let us know your thoughts on the comments below. Let us know, pro A-10 or not? But again, we don't want arguments, so please refrain from yeah. arguments. Smash the like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button and watch the video. Have a fantastic day. And we will see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.